do another example with another tip. Um, so here, this tip is that we can group polyatomic ions as long as they don't change um, what they are on either side. So let's take a look at an, as, uh, an example of that. So here we have aluminum bromide reacts with potassium sulfate to form potassium bromide and aluminum sulfate. So the first thing we need to do is we need to figure out what our chemical uh, equation is. So we have aluminum bromide. If you think back to the periodic table, uh, or maybe you've memorized at this point, aluminum has a charge of plus three, while bromine has a charge of negative one. So we need three BRs for every Al. So it is Al Br3. And then potassium sulfate. Sulfate is one of your polyatomic ions, SO4 two minus, potassium is K plus. So we need two potassiums for every one sulfate. So potassium sulfate is K2SO4. To form potassium bromide, they're both plus or minus one. So that's just KBr. Plus aluminum sulfate. Aluminum has a charge of plus three, sulfate minus two. So we can switch the coefficients. So we'll have two aluminum, two aluminums, and then three sulfates, right? That's the balanced um, compound for aluminum sulfate. And now we want to go ahead and count them up and try to balance them. So we want to take a look at aluminum, potassium, bromine, and then I can group the sulfate just together as just SO4 two minus, because I notice I only have sulfate here and sulfate here. Um, so I can group them together. If I had sulfurs and oxygens elsewhere, I could count those separately. In this case, I don't. So on the product side or on the reactant side, I have one aluminum from the AlBr3. On the right side, I have two aluminums from the aluminum sulfate. On the left side, I have two potassiums. On the right side, I only have one. On the left side, I have three bromines. On the right side, I only have one. On the left side, I have one sulfate. On the right side, I have three. Um, so in this case, it doesn't matter where you start with. There's nothing that shows up in more than one compound on uh, one side of the chemical equation. So you can start anywhere that you want. I'm just going to go ahead and start with the aluminum because it's the first thing that pops up. And I need to put a two right there that way to ensure that I have the same amount of aluminums on each side. So now I have two aluminums, but now that also launches me up to six uh, bromines. Next up, I'm going to just arbitrarily pick the potassiums to try to balance um, them out a little bit. So I have, um, I need two potassium, so I can put a two right here. So that'll double that to two, and then the bromine to two as well. You can tell that's not going to be enough. Um, let's switch back and let's do the sulfates now. Again, it doesn't really matter which order you do this. Eventually, you're going to get to the right answer. It's just from some practice. So we need three sulfates. So that'll launch that up to three for our sulfates on the reactant side but then that'll kick us all the way up to six potassiums. All right, my aluminums and my sulfates are balanced out nicely, just the potassium and bromine are not. And then with each case, we have six on the reactant side and only two on the product side. So I can go ahead and just change this two into a six, and then I'll have six on either side. And my chemical uh, equation should be balanced. Of course, now I should rewrite and double check this. So let's see, I have two AlBr3 plus three K2SO4 going to six KBr plus an Al2SO43. And then I'll see what I have on the left side and on the right side. For aluminum, I have two of them. For bromine, I have six, right? Two times three is six. For potassium, I have six as well. Three times two is six. And then for sulfate, I've got two of them. On the right side, I've got, start off with aluminum, so we're starting the same thing. We have an Al2, so that's two aluminum, so that checks out right there. For the bromine, we've got six of them from the six KBRs, so that checks out right there. For the potassium, we've got six, again, from that KBR. So that checks out right there. And then the sulfate, I have 
three of them, which doesn't quite check out right here. But if you'll notice, I made an error on the uh, left side. Right, this two should actually be a three from right there. So that's why it's always good to double check. You can find any errors in your work or your, under or your understanding. Um, overall, again, it's really just about getting some practice in.